Let's take a look at whether benzene, that's C6H6, is a polar or a nonpolar molecule. So often you'll see benzene drawn like this, very common in chemistry. We have alternating double bonds here, and then on each corner here, we would have a hydrogen atom. We don't draw the hydrogen atoms, though. We just assume that they're there. So when we look at this structure, we could look at it more of a model, and you can see that in reality, we have resonance, so these bonds are averaged, and it gives us kind of this average bond here. You can see the hydrogens, and then this is a carbon here. But the question is, is benzene polar or nonpolar? So we look at the electronegativity. Here's carbon right here, 2.55. Here's hydrogen. We have a difference of 0.35 in electronegativity. If we look at this general rule here, if we have less than 0.5, we have what we call a nonpolar covalent bond. So these are all nonpolar covalent bonds. They have a slight dipole, but not very much. Let's take a look at this in three dimensions. So here is our benzene molecule. Again, the white hydrogens, black carbons. You can see the alternating double bonds. If we look at the dipole on the individual carbon and hydrogen bonds here, let's look at that. We do have slight bond dipoles going towards the carbon here, since carbon is a little more electronegative. So we have these slight bond dipoles, but overall they balance out, they cancel each other out. So if you looked at the entire molecule here, the overall dipole, that's that dot in the center, there isn't one. So it's a nonpolar molecule. Let's go back to the periodic table. So because the dipoles all cancel out, this is a symmetrical molecule, benzene is considered a nonpolar molecule. In fact, if you put benzene with a polar liquid like water, it would be immiscible. It would just float on the top. It wouldn't mix. This is Dr. B answering the question whether benzene is polar or nonpolar. It's a nonpolar molecule. Thanks for watching.